Bienvenidos un día más a Red de Redemption. Continuamos con el Tito John Marston. Ayer terminamos de momento con la trama de The Santa. Y vamos a conocer un personaje nuevo desde ¿Qué? México. Ahí que vamos. Ahora se nos han añadido gente a la lista negra, eh. Ahora no solo estamos buscando a Billy, sino que también estamos buscando a... Javier de Escuela. La tragedia del pistolero. ¿Qué pasó con el otro? No te rompas, pendejo, la dejé en la casa. Y les digo, de aquí para acá, chingan a su madre. ¿Qué? ¿Y qué nos va a ¡Cállese, mejor? güey! Y de aquí para acá, son pendejos. ¡Eh, hey, gringo! ¿Hablas español? No, sir. Pardon, pero yo hablo un solo poquito español. ¡Qué <risa> bueno! ¿Habla inglés? Oh, sí, gringo. Hablo mucho inglés. Sí. Hablo. Filthy fucking bean eater. Hablo. Slippery little Mexican. Oh. Hablo. Little piece of shit. shit. <laughs> ¿Comprende, amigo? ¿Comprende? Hey, what are you doing here, gringo? I don't remember inviting you to my country. I don't think you did, amigo. I mean, you no harm. <laughs> you mean us no harm? This is funny. <laughs> What harm could you do to us exactly? <laughs> no, quiero saberlo. <laughs> Now, I appreciate the welcome committee, but I'd hate to spoil a beautiful afternoon on such beautiful land with any further unpleasantries. Now, if you'll excuse me. Uh, hold it, Gringo. I think you're forgetting something. A little taxation. <laughs> I have a large family. <laughs> I too have a family friend. So that we may see our families again, I suggest we part ways amicably. Madre <laughs> mía. Can I see the boots, Gringo? I think you can see them from where you're standing just fine, senor. Take off the boots, Americano. Bueno. As you wish. Que que si no me agujereo la el sombrero. Oh, very good. Very good indeed, sir. What a great way to improve border relations. An illiterate farmer crossing the river, coming into their civilization and butchering the local peasants. <laughs> Thank you very much, sir. Don't mention it, old man. You kill peasants, you become a peasant. I never aspired to be anything more. <laughs> a socialist, huh? No wonder you left America. I'm many things, most of them bad, but a man of political principles? No. Well, then I fear Mexico may not be for you, sir. Don't you worry about me. Oh, but I do worry. An angry man a long way from home, a man who handles a gun as sloppy as you. I can handle a gun okay, partner. Yeah, as long as you're killing quail or peasants. But if you have to face another man, you don't stand a chance. And you do? Can show you a few tricks. Come with me. Hold on. What's your name? That doesn't matter anymore. And you? I never had a name, Mister. I was raised in an orphanage. <laughs> a real American, huh? Está como un pistolero legendario, sabes? Este, este es un tío, guau, es un maquinote. Si no mal me acuerdo, es como un pistolero legendario. Que nos va a enseñar ahora a tener mejor precisión y mejor. Well, you won't make in the circus, but you can shoot. Keep on practicing. Thank you, old man. Now, who are you? No one interesting. Who are you? 
Landon Ricketts. Not a name that means much anymore. It means a little. You were famous when I was a boy. Yeah, killing men's a strange kind of fame. I was the fastest in my time. I must have been. I'm the only one left. What are you doing here? Living quietly. Waiting. For what? I don't know. And you? I'm looking for a couple of men. Bill Williamson, Javier Escuela. <sighs> Escuela's from here. It could be. This whole place is teeming with a, with Americans on the run. Mercenaries, locals hell-bent on revolution. Revolution? Another one? <sighs> yeah. Never really is. This whole place has been a hotbed for revolution since before the Spanish left. Now there's another local guy running around promising the peasants their freedom. Ah, just like the last two or three. Oh, geez. Local government? Foul bunch. Colonel Allende, he runs this place like a feudal king. Oh, he's an awful individual. Is that so? Yeah. Until someone puts a bullet in his head. Come well, on, let's get back to it. You gotta keep that back straight. Otherwise it makes the gun jump. See if the Schofield makes a difference. Now that's a real gun. Hello. Ah, y esto es lo que yo quería, el poder marcar como yo quiero. Vale, tío, esto es lo bueno. Esta es como la mejora de lo que teníamos, lo que teníamos era algo automático, pero no siempre lo automático es bueno. El poder coger y marcar como queramos. Claro, imagínate el poder modificar, ¿sabes? El marcar donde quieres disparar. En el 2 esto está súper mejorado y hasta te salen los puntos débiles de, de las personas para hacerle más daño o simplemente no matarlos, dejarlos tendidos en el suelo. Nicely done, sir. You've been taught well. I'd have to say I'm surprised you heard of Landon Ricketts. I would have thought. Señor Ricketts, señor Ricketts, señor Ricketts, señor Ricketts, por favor, señor, our bank wagon's under attack just outside of town. We need your help again. Whoa, slow down, Ramon. We'll take care of it. Thank you, señor. Again, you are the savior of this town. Well, my friend, are you ready to take a less theoretical exam? Sure. I don't think I ever rode with no savior before. <laughs> Come on, these people need me. Venga. Oh, there. So why are you looking for these two men? It's a long story. We used to ride together. We was all friends once. Only a buzzard feeds on his friends. There must be a high bounty on their heads. What would you do if somebody took the people you love and told you they'd die if you didn't do as they asked? I'd show them what a big mistake they'd made. Look over there. They're in trouble, all right? Come on. Shit! You almost got me! Coño, que no le alcanzo. Y luego está el otro. Es el 
supone que está por aquí, ¿no? Lo veo. ¡Buah! <ríe> sí que le ver la cabeza así, pero a la persona, al... Al rehén, tú le das la cabeza. Eso me pasa por, por no. Por, por agotar el rehén. Va, sube. ¿Estás bien? Solo un poco de pain en los pies. Damn horse. Es una terrible thing, you know, getting old. One day you catch a glimpse of yourself, you ain't the same person no more. Your looks have gone, your back hurts, and your pecker isn't working like that. Ah, See, the problem with old age is, just when you start to understand life, no you're too long in the tooth to no it. There they are, follow me. Claro, me he quedado sin... Ah, oh, tío. A ver, yo creo que hay que bajar, porque mira el otro como está ah, bajado del caballo, tío. Hay que bajarse del caballo. Come on, these people need me. No. How long have you been living here? Ah, a few years now, I guess. Una it's been a while since I've been to Calvin. Why Mexico? Why not? I've been kicking up the same dust on the same trails too long. I needed a change. It's a good place as any other to call home. Sunshine, cheap liquor, beautiful women. A vicious civil war? Look over there. They're in trouble, all right? Come on. Si encuentro yo... Joder, se ha puesto por medio, tío. Qué putada. Gracias a Dios. Me salvaron la vida. Con las Sano y salvo. Nunca podré agradecer lo suficiente. Buy me a whiskey later, and we'll call things about even. Nivel de DJX 3 de 3. O sea, no hemos no mejorado al máximo. Come on. 
Mi flor deslumbrante. Hola. General Sánchez. Vamos a jugar un juego de póker, entonces. Ven aquí, mi amor. Ven aquí. Tengo cositas que contarte. Tengo cositas que contarte. No. Vuelve a decir a Dios. Y son las madres mías. En mi opinión, Coronel Allende es el mismísimo demonio. Andale, andale. Andale. El hombre, eh, he, he steal my horse. Please, ayúdame. Wow. No lo habré dado, ¿no? Sería interesante que sí, tío. Pues ya ves, qué drama. ¿Era mi caballo? No, pues ya está. No me sea dramático. Ha perdido el caballo el hombre, pues yo qué sé, es que me pillas andando, es que. ¿Sabes? Es como si ahora vienen aquí. ¡Ay, que me han robado el coche! ¡Ayúdame! Y está por ahí el pavo con el coche a 200 km por ahí voy andando. Pues, ¿qué quieres hacer? O sea, si el pavo va por ahí con el caballo. A tope, tío. Sinceramente, la calina que tiene que estar haciendo, ¿eh? No me hables de esas babosadas. Ya basta. You like money, americano? Sit down. Maybe you win. Unos señores aquí hablaban de Landon Rickens, caballo. Muy interesante. Gracias, amigos. Mr. Marston, how the devil are you? I'm fine. How are you, Mr. Ricketts? I'm good. I'm glad you're here because these men were just telling me about Mr. Escuela. Javier Escuela? Emilio, let me ask you something. His nombre is Javier, Señor Escuela. Is Javier to see? No sé, señor. <sighs> He doesn't know. I got that bit. Ask him, was he about five foot eight? Mustache? Did he have an American in tow? A big American? Emilio, the Stabacone, uh, grindy Americano? Yo no sé. No. Ag again, I got that. But they do have his sister. Emilio's, I mean. She's a fine young woman, a teacher, a human being. Not the clothed vermin so many people seem to have turned into. Tell him I'm sorry. When a man's family is involved, you need a little more enthusiasm than mere apologies. I have enough worries, sir. This man's problems pain me, but they're not quite my own. Those who sit on the fence make a choice in their own way. Don't you think, Mr. Marston? Of course. And what about you, Ricketts? A man living in the past? Man who ran away from home? What choice did you make? I'll tell you what choice I made. I'm a fighter, sir, and I'll fight to the end. I think we should get going. Las tocadas narices a. I'm gonna take the train. A la vieja you leyenda. Come with me or ride ahead to El Matadero. Muchas muchachas se enamoran con Abraham Reyes. Pensaba que era que hiciera ahora en Mateo. <risa> Hola, ¿qué tal? I've been hearing some things about you, John Marston. Really? That perhaps you're more in need of my help than I thought. Is that so? 
to some recent encounters with this Bill Williamson fella haven't gone exactly in your favor. Funny how everyone seems to know my business, but nothing about the men I'm looking for. It isn't easy getting the locals to talk. Aquí es donde nos enseñan un poquito el viaje rápido en tren. It's the only way to travel, so they keep telling me. We'll get off at Casa Madrugada and ride from there. Ahí hay diálogos. Horses are over here. That's a madrugada. Come on, first stop, El Matadero. Let's go. We need to find a man called Carlos. I was told he could help us. We'll ask around when we get there, but we don't want to draw attention. See if you can keep your gun holstered for once. You're the hero around here, Mr. Ricketts, not me. What does the army want with this Luisa girl anyway? She's a rebel, and apparently close to their leader, Reyes. She's a pretty young thing. That's normally reason enough for Alinde. So I've heard. She's a good woman, a teacher. If they lay a finger on her, I swear I'll feed those bastards their balls. Bye. Here we are. Looks kind of sleepy, don't it? Easy now. All right, let's find the Hey! Toma, toma, toma. Carlos. Sí. We're here for Luisa. Is she still being held up in the caves? Yes. She's still up there. Who's the cowboy? We're here to help. Mm, muy bien. I can distract the guards. You and the gringo can get inside. Let's do it. Let's do it. I will keep them talking, senor. The rest I will leave to you. All right, let's find Luisa. That's... Do it. <coughs> ¿Sabes todo lo que tiene que hacer John? Para poder encontrar a... A los que el gobierno quiere que atrape, ¿eh? Todo lo que tiene que hacer tío. otra vez. ¡No puedes estar aquí! Eh, oye, soy yo, Carlos. Pues trabajo en el matadero. No me importa quién eres. Esta es una zona militar prohibida. Vete a casa. Me gustan sus botas. Muy bonitas. 
Mi hermana tiene las mismas. Pinche campesino de mierda. Te voy a colgar al lado de tu cerdo. Váyanse al infierno, traidores. That's our cue. Qué raro que no le disparen, lo. Come on, let's get into those caves. Ah, bueno, las pollas rey. There's my cover, Marston. Pare, ahora mismo. Ahora, mi pregunta es para qué has querido esa distracción? Si nada más entrar en la cueva. Te pones a seguido. Ha perdido el sombrero el otro, ¿no? encuentro los otros, tío. Aunque creo que así me voy a consumir todo el red Sí. Y encima ahora ya no le doy. Vaya. Bueno. Este quiere coger un poquito de Maxamo. Un poco peligroso, ¿no? Venga, va, tira más, tira más. Madre mía. Stand back, damn it. Here goes. Girls barely alive. Let's get the hell out of here before any more of them show up. Left us some horses. Come on. Miralo, eh? Él sin prisa. Ah, que ni siquiera este es mi caballo. Me ha estimado. Pues... un caballo idéntico al mío para que crea que es mi caballo
Mira, no, es que son idénticos, eh. Es un... Something doesn't feel right here. No me digas eso. There he is. Talk about cutting it fine. Luisa, gracias a Dios. Thank you for saving me. You're a good man. Friends of the people of this land. Was someone named Harvey Esquela one of the men holding you? No. I don't know. I don't think so. But I remember that name from prison. Bad people spoke of him. I told you John, he's still in Mexico. Okay then. I guess we'll keep looking. Estamos de lejos de la misión. En puto cuenca me encanta. Ven. Había salido otra misión con una L, ¿no? Es la misma que está ahí. No, mira. Ah, hay otra con una L. Ah, que. ¿Qué es? Luisa Fortuna. Vamos a hacer la jugarreta de las setas. A hacer viajes rápidos para no tardar tanto en pasarnos al juego. Te puede parecer una cerdada, pero... Sinceramente, es una jugada maestra. Porque podremos tardar perfectamente 15 o 20 minutos en llegar hasta allí, ¿eh? O sea... Sinceramente, lo veo bastante OP el poder hacer viajes rápidos. Estoy cansada. Vamos a la casa. Ah, la. Lo que ofrezco merece el precio, ¿ah? Fuera. Lo que ofrezco merece el precio. Ahora ya ves. Caballero, hola. Casi las doce y media, tío. Mira tú si por ahí llega un poquito antes. Ahora tengo que venirme aquí a hacer ahí un tricky. Ah, está cheto esto del viaje rápido, ¿eh? O sea, de, de los campamentos y todo eso. A ver, en el Red Dead Redemption 2 sí que es verdad que está todo más... Más mejorado, ¿no? El campamento te proporciona la oportunidad de cocinar, de tener tus comidas, que eso luego te sirve como atributos y, y chetos temporales. Ahora es que Red Dead Redemption 2 es un, 
Pero es que estos tipos de juegos realmente para exprimirlos tienes que tener un, un tiempo barbarie. O sea, si trabajas tienes que, tienes que jugarlo cuando estás de vacaciones o algo así. En plan como yo ahora. Solo que yo ahora. Solo que yo ahora lo que estoy enfocado en la historia. Que si, si, que si no, ya ves. Si no, ya sé que no me da la vida. Aún me va a decir porque aún no son las horas. Me cago en todo lo cagable, tío. Quiero ponerme a llorar. A ver, no voy a volver a guardar porque realmente lo que queda es nada y menos. Como cuando nos demos cuenta ya... Pero curioso, ¿eh? La jugarreta esta de las horas, tío. Aquí no hay tienda, yo que sé, para revisar, a ver, tío. Hay tienda, pero de caballo, por lo que veo. Pues yo no me como un caballo ni loco, que luego ¿Cómo? muere, tío. Ya ves, no estuve yo coaccionado en el, en el Red Dead Redemption 2 tú con... Con el rollo del caballo, tío. Y de cuidarlo, y de darle zanahorias, y darle comida, y de que no se me muera... Y que hay que se me ha quedado tullido el caballo, me toca rematarlo. Joder, tío. Unas movidas, tío. Ya ver que mola, ¿no? Que, que quieras o no mola porque es el realismo, tío, pero... Te, toca llevar, te, te tocaba llevar siempre inyecciones para poder curar el caballo, tío, por si se te quedaba tullido, tío. Madre mía. Afortunado en el amor. Por unos pesos podemos retirar a mi cuarto y conocernos mejor, ¿eh? No me toques. No tengo nada. Gentlemen, gentlemen, I thank you. Oh, yeah. Hey, Mr. Marston. How you keeping, sir? Just fine, thank you. And you? Very well, sir. Thank God my wife died. Unlucky in love, lucky in course. Carzan. Champagne for everyone. Keep playing, Mr. Ricketts. Oh, I'm sorry, Herr Muller. I'll keep playing you in servitude for the rest of your life on Earth, if that makes you happy. Yes, I shall indeed, sir. Well then, your deal. <laughs> oh, Marston, would you like to join us? I don't think so. I'm just gonna have a drink. Oh, come on. Sit down. Sit down. Okay, then. Me vas a obligar. No marchon. Ahora sí, claro. Y me quita 100, 100. Madre mía. Mira. I wonder if you're also as lucky as Mr. Ricketts here. Mr. Mort. You realize you're in the presence of one of the keenest German minds in all of Mexico. I fault. You know what I always say, Muller. If you find yourself in a hole, best to stop digging. That's me out. Looks like the table is turned. Hmm. Smile, fellers. We're all friends here. No, thank you. Madre mía. Look at that. Que me hago de oro, chaval. You fucking cheat. Excuse me? You fucking looked in my fucking cards, you fucking cheat. Now, Herr Muller, let's calm down. There must be some mistake. There's no mistake. Your Yankee friend here is a fucking cheat. Easy there, Germany. Calm yourself down. Oh, yeah. You know exactly what you did. Yeah, I know exactly what I did, friend, which was nothing. Now, I'd prefer it if we could all play a friendly game and no one get hurt. You, you planted this guy, Ricketts. Now, why would I do that? I've already beaten you. Now, calm down and let's finish the game. There's not. No more cards game. He's up there. Oh, yo, 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 yo.
There must be a name for this. An impasse, sir. An impasse. We could all die here and now. I'm not fighting you, Ricketts, but the Yankee him I don't like. He's done you no harm, Muller. He's done me no good either. Outside, winner takes the pot. The winner will take what he wants. The other man will be in no position to argue. Sanchez will be my second. As you wish, Germany. As you wish. Walk with me, John. I want to make sure you know how this is going to work. A duel is all about timing. If you pull your gun too soon, you'll be less accurate. After you draw, pick your shots carefully, like I showed you. Once you've picked your marks, the rest, my friend, is in the hands of fate. Let's get this over with! No, Steady no. now, partner. Stay calm. I'll show you what happens to filthy cheats! A ver si fundar tu arma pulsa o bien se ve. Los tobillos. Always did play his cards too early. Come on, we've earned ourselves a drink. I think Mr. Muller's fine. Yo que quiero dejarlo solo tuyido. You, uh, the man they call Marston, see? You like killing? Watch me cut her throat. Nice friends you got here, Mr. Ricketts. <laughs> Do you, Marston? Eh, peleamos ahora, eh? We fight now. <laughs> Careful, Marston. I know that girl. Ayúdame, alguien. Alguien. Oh, Dios mío. Oh, Dios mío. No puede ser. Me han agarrado. Oh, madre mía. Oh, madre mía. Ahora sí que se ha liado. ¿Dónde estáis? Guardritas. En la cara. Para que prenda. de la vida ancha eh coño well I must say you tourists certainly bring peace and prosperity to this land then again I doubt Muller will be missed he wasn't much of a poker player yes Caravana mexicana. <laughs> hey, Gringo. Mr. Ricketts, come on in. Sit down and have yourself a drink. Sure. Say, any word of Javier Escuela? Uh, no, nothing yet. Say, why are you after him anyway? We're old friends. We was kind of educated together. <laughs> so what is this, some kind of high school reunion sort of thing? <laughs> Something like that. Well, well, you've killed people. You lived the life. 
<sighs> that I have. And I tried to stop. I mean, I don't know. I tried to go straight. I did. I left the gang after the gang left me. Left me to die after I'd been shot. They'd all gone crazy anyhow. Our old leader, a fella you probably heard of. Anyway, he more That's... or less lost his mind, went and shot a bunch of people unfair like. I got shot in a robbery. They left me, and I left them. <laughs> well, that's how it goes. <clears throat> Already had me a woman. Got me a farm. Then I got me more trouble. Sure. <laughs> Been sent to track down the men I used to run with. Track them, kill them. Well, if you don't, someone else will. There's no escape. Look at me, I spent 25 years killing men. <laughs> Look at me now, sitting around here like some low-rent would-be messiah. <laughs> We're relics. Come on, have yourself another drink and let's wallow in a little self-pity. Sounds like a plan. Your health. Mr. Ricketts. Mr. Ricketts, Siempre viene el igual, eh? found you, and you, Mr. Marston. Will you sit down? You all right? I'm well, sir, but Allende is sending more men to the death, prisoners who have not been tried. A prominent writer, Castilla, and a local official whose only crime was not putting the small holders on the street when they were late with taxes. Writers and government officials. For once, I agree with Allende. Some men need to be killed. Mr. Ricketts! I was just joking. Where are they? Out near Escalera. Let's hang up our self-pity and go shoot ourselves some bad guys. You're gonna be all right. Thank you. Both of you. No, la verdad es que para ellos sí que es un héroe el Ricket este, eh. Let's head for Escalera. Porque vienen tú, vamos, como si fuese el Superman, tú. Ayuda, ayuda. Whatever you're ready, partner. Whoa. Luisa was pretty shaken up. She's angry. This war is getting dirtier by the day. People are being executed for just having an opinion. Linda seems to have more enemies by the day. Perhaps you would know. Rumor has it you've been making all kinds of new friends. I don't pay much attention to rumors. Just be careful, John. Keep jumping from one side of the fence to the other. You might just get impaled on it. I have to find these two men. With respect, how I do it is no concern of yours. Choose your tone wisely, partner. Remember who you're talking to. How could I ever forget? And who are you, John Marston? <laughs> Apart from a rat feeding every other hand he can find, my name means something. All you've done is kill a few peasants, and the only real outlaw you've taken on dropped you like a bad habit. Now, I politely ask you to watch your tone, Rick. All I'm saying is, maybe there's a reason why people around here don't want to talk. Oh, without it. You must miss your family. It's the only thing that keeps me going. You know? You remind me a lot of myself, how I used to be, stubborn and angry. You ain't changed all that much. I always thought I'd live to Trump. Do you see that? Prison wagons. That must be them. Come on. Pues vamos al lío, ¿no? Uno por aquí. Este por aquí. Este que viene aquí super wow, tío. Soy un pro. Este que está me da sacar el arma y. Eh, claro, ¿por qué no? Les he quitado el sombrero a todos, tío. No les he en la cabeza, pero les he quitado el sombrero a todos. Es maravilloso. Eso me pasa por ir con el revólver. Van a ver ahora cuando vaya con mi arma. De verdad, no la tontería esa. Es curioso que diga que el pavo este... Al coronel ese se está haciendo a muchas amistades. Y se resulta que se ha hecho a mi amigo también de Javier Escuela. Se acabó. Mira, en toda la nuca, para que veas tú que no te quito el sombrero. Que te quito la tontería, que es otra cosa. A ver si. Eh, mira, en toda la cara. ¿Paras o 
te disparo. Madre mía. Lo que ha tardado. Pero, pero apúntele. ¡Y yeah, el carro, el carro! I will handle it from here. I know you got other matters to attend to. It's been nice riding with you, Mr. Ricketts. <laughs> And you too. You took me back to another time. Talk to Louisa. She'll help you, and she's well connected in that other land. I hope you find what you're looking for, Marston. You know what I'm looking for. <laughs> If you say so, Marston. If you say so. Ah, ya terminó la trama con este tipo. Vaya. Me hemos estado bien cargado, ¿no? Maravilloso. Vaya. O sea, que el tipo se vuelve a Estados Unidos. A ver, no lo veo mal, porque México está bastante en la mierda. ¿eh? Entre tú y yo... Está la cosa bastante feucha Seamos sinceros Madre mía, tú La que se ha liado, eh O sea El, el juego va cogiendo un tono, tío De, de, de frenetismo y, y violencia Guau Lo dejamos por aquí por hoy Mañana más, si os está poniendo este Red de Redemption Dejad un buen like, suscribiros a apoyar la serie Para que sea mejor como está Y nos vemos mañana con más John Marston